Hi, welcome to my second review on Legend. So, most of you don't know this, but a long, long time ago when I began my channel, just before I began my channel, I had read the book Legend, and I had recorded a review for it, actually. I do have the review, and I didn't really watch it because it was a really bad review. I don't like my old reviews. They seem to go on and on about the same thing with no editing, so I don't really care for that. But here, I have reread the book for a specific reason, and I want to talk about it in a more long way, in a more deep way, so that you guys can actually understand how I feel about YA books, particularly these kind of YA books that are sci-fi, that are very much aimed at like 12 year old girls. And that's not a dig, it's just like, I'm gonna be talking about that soon. So hold up. So, uh, Legend, okay. This book is very much aimed at 12 year old girls. Like I can, I, it's very, very obvious to tell. No, the, it's okay, so I did rate it two stars, first of all, okay? Two stars, and I'll tell you exactly why that is. Two stars means it's okay. I, I see why some people like it, and I don't wanna like give it a one star because it's not bad. It's just painfully average. This book does have a lot going for it. Like, I think that the story itself is very original. I think that there are certain character moments that really do well for me because, like, I, I don't expect a YA novel to have characters that I could relate to myself, but this is written in such a way that I am able to relate to certain points, and it's, it's a lot better than I expected. Like, I did feel emotional at certain points, and I really do like that the plot itself was very well done, technically speaking, structurally speaking, right? It's not a very good, uh, you know, plot from my perspective as, like, almost an adult, I guess, but if you look at it from the perspective of somebody who this is targeting, like a 12-year-old girl, it is it's a really good book, man. It's structurally, not structurally, plot-wise, it's a very good plot with a good conflict and such. Now, I particularly liked it because of the structure. I think that it was very well-defined structurally as to how a book should be. And I think that it had very good twists at proper points, it had very good emotional uh, arcs of certain people, and it had very good reveals, and it had very good character moments in proper places. Like, I think it was very well-written structurally. And I guess that's sort of where my praise ends. Well, I, okay, well, there is one other thing, which is the world building doesn't suck. It's, it's, a, it's okay world building, like I don't mind it too much. It's not particularly original, but there are certain things that I saw that like, like she's really nailing it on the head with certain plot points. Like, for example, there's something called Jumbotrons where there's just like big billboards that are like electrical and there's news on them. Now, this is something that really, really defines how everything looks. Like if you just imagine a dystopian world, that's something. But if you imagine like Jumbotrons, that completely changes it. That's like a very specific thing that grounds you into the world that makes you think, ah, you know, this is the world I'm in. I'm in the legend world, not just some any random world. And I really find it interesting that the author had the foresight to repeatedly mention the Jumbotrons constantly that really brings me back into this world that made me feel like I am actually constantly engaged in this world instead of just some random world. So there are some certain things in this book that really make me think, you know, that's a good book that might have like raised it to a three star maybe. But there are a lot of things that I didn't like about it that I'm going to go down to a two for. Now firstly, uh, there's the characters which are absolutely abysmal in terms of stuff I've read from. Fantasy doesn't exactly have the greatest characters known to men, but at the same time, like they're original, I feel like fantasy characters are all always just kind of at least bringing something new to the table. Whereas here, every character is somebody I've met before. Like I I know all of these people. There's the girl that's really smart. She's so cool. Like she's she's like super like ninja girl. Oh my god, she's like top ranking. She's the smartest person in the world. Also, she is such a good fighter and she's like everybody's like bringing her up and being like, yo, why don't you be on my team? Why don't you like work for me? Wouldn't that be great? But then she's betrayed by somebody that she thought that she knew that was a good friend. And and then also, she likes this boy who is an evil, she's, he's evil, but not really. They think that, like, he, they think that he's evil, but he's actually a good person. And who would have thunk it? And he's really cool, and he's also a ninja, but he needs her help. And then there's some betrayal and stuff going on, and this is just classic. This is so old and overdone, I could not stand the characters themselves. And that absolutely drove me up the wall. Now I do get that there's a market for that, okay? So 12 year old girls are gonna love that kind of stuff. But for me, ooh, it's a little bit cringy to read. Specifically the characters themselves, they were really cringy to read because like they're such an archetype that I've heard a million times and I know that like kids would really really like because they think that they're so cool they're like shown in like power level you know people like they, they're like oh they're so powerful they're so smart they're unbelievably smart they can they beat every odds with just like extra power boost of motivation that doesn't happen here but it, it's that archetype that does carry on it's this perfect person that you see everything go wrong to they don't really change they don't really fix themselves in any way they just 
they just like are affected by the world and they need to stay strong. So the characters, although well defined, are very, very one dimensional. I don't really have any complaints about the prose. The prose itself is fine. It doesn't like do anything bad for me, but I did find that, you know, at times it was like very decently written. Like there was some stuff that really stood out to me as like well written stuff. And then there was a lot of stuff that stood out to me as the opposite of that. Now this is the main thing I wanted to talk about because I find this absolutely hysterical. You might have noticed that I have like bookmarked certain places. Now these are places that I found uh, kind of funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and read them and I do wanna give you some context first of all. So these, of course, like I mentioned before, this is a book written for kids. And so of course it's gonna have that power, power fantasy stuff. And I don't really mind that too much, but it, the way it's written, uh, let me give you this analogy because this is so funny. Like it feels, okay, so first of all, this book was written when the author was 14, I believe, something like that. She wrote it when she was 14. It's like, okay, I can tell. I can very much clearly tell that this was written when you were 14. But what happened is that they kind of took this book, they made it structurally fantastic. Right, that's all they did to it, and they kind of changed up the line so it was less cringy. But it's very, very obvious that this was written by a 14 year old and edited by like a 20 year old that knows what they're doing. So, all the cringy lines are still left in because you can't, like, imagine you weren't able to add anything to it, you just had to remove the cringy stuff. Like, okay, that's fine, but all the like, crazy cringy stuff must have been removed, but all the really kind of cringy stuff that just needed to exist because plot are just still there. So I do have a couple of examples that I wanna to read to you. By the way, all of these are times I like actually laughed. So, okay, so let's hear one, okay? So this is a plot point. So what's happening right now is that the boy, the, the evil boy has to go meet somebody. He's trying to like find this guy, trying to meet up with this person, but like he doesn't wanna go around telling people that he wants to meet up with this person because he's outlawed and he doesn't want anybody to know his actual identity. So, but he does know that this person is searching for him. So this is what he does. He goes to a bar and he's trying to like get information about it very subtly. And it's so funny. The scene is so funny. So here, I'll just read you a line. Okay, so she hesitates for a moment. I noticed that she has a few tiny freckles on her nose. I hear he's telling people he wants to give a plague cure to someone, one person only, that this person will know who he's talking about. I try to look amused. Lucky person, yeah? She grins. No kidding. He says he wants this person to meet him at midnight, tonight, at the 10 second place. The 10 second place? The bartender shrugs. Hell if I know what that means. Neither does anyone else, for that matter. She leans over the counter towards me and lowers her voice. Know what I think? I think this guy's just crazy. Now, if that isn't cringy, I don't know what is. And if you are 12, let me explain to you why that is cringy. So this is the type of dialogue that feels almost made in Butler. This is such an out of the way, just kind of really weird, obscure detail to put in. Like, this person's like, oh, you know, I wanna hear about that guy with the plague cures. And she's like, oh, yes, I know the exact wording of what they want us to say. And obviously I memorized it because it's very useful to me to memorize it, right? To know all of these things. And like, why would this news be spread around? Like, this isn't big news. This doesn't affect anyone. Like, nobody cares about this at all. And it's so obvious that this guy's trying to ask about that because he is the person. And then also the 10 second place, like the emphasis on that, I, like uh, the, like it's it's so clearly written by a 14 year old. It's it's funny. Okay, the next one, which is a power fantasy thing. So she, this girl, the main character girl, she got into a fight and this is what she says at the beginning of the chapter. I'm not worried about losing this fight. I'm more worried that I'll accidentally kill my opponent. Okay. Now this is like, this is this is power fantasy stuff. This is just hilarious. This is so funny. It's like, you can, it's so obvious it's written by a 14 year old. I'm not trashing on this book because structurally it's fantastic because you know, the, the world itself is actually well done. Like I, I appreciate the world, and but the characters, you know, the characters are just average and the writing is abysmal in certain places, which is just so funny. I love this book because of that. It made me laugh so many times. I'm more worried that I'll accidentally kill the opponent. What is she? I think she's like 14 years old. She's, oh my God, that's so, funny and the other person has a knife too like that's hilarious that's really funny okay now this is the same fight um, and this is kind of again power fantasy when Cage comes at me again I dart away and twist her arm in a tight hold in one move I shatter it she shattered her arm in one move fantastic she, what is she 15 and she shattered the Street Fighter's arm in one move like this is hilarious I love this okay so this part I, I didn't actually want to roast I think I put this here because I thought it was good writing and I, I do think it's good writing this is a very interesting character moment that I think although I see it all the time I think in this time it was actually well written so hear this Thomas I whisper but it comes out as Matthias I blindly reach out a hand for my brother then I remember that he's no longer there to take it now that's like 
that's interesting, right? That's actually like not badly written. That's well written considering the rest of this, uh, the dialogue in this. Like it's actually good. <laughs> and now we get one more, one more cringy line. That's another power fantasy. The girl smiles at me as if she knows something that I don't. I wish I could figure out who she reminds me of. Don't worry, she says. I'm a careful girl when I'm not angry. I don't need to explain that one. So that's Legend. Uh, it's n it's not a great book. Uh, I, would I recommend it to you? If you're a 12 year old girl, yes. If not, you probably won't enjoy it. Or maybe you enjoy YA and this isn't like a bad YA. It's just, to me, it just seems very average as a YA book. Even though I haven't read many YA, I assume that this is roughly average. It's just interesting in terms of, I guess, the the type of novel it is. Structurally, it's very interesting because it kind of cuts stuff up into different viewpoints, two different viewpoints, and it also colors them differently. So it's a little bit of like very spicy uh, uh, flavor of uh, YA, something just slightly different that just catches people's eyes. And it's not a bad YA. It's really not, but it's just really average and has a lot of cringy writing that just made me just laugh literally so much. And that was between like roughly 50 pages. So I, like I, the rest of it, I had to force myself to just stop. Like I couldn't do that anymore. So I just left it at that. Uh, it, it's not bad. It's really not, but it's definitely not for me. So I gave it a two star. I, I get it. I get why people like it. It's just not my cup of tea. So yeah, I don't really care. Uh, but I will be continuing on with the series. I will be reading the next book, Prodigy, and then Champion, and then Rebel. If you'd like to see reviews for each of those books, let me know in the comments down below, or I'll just go ahead and do a series review once I finish them all. I do have a bunch of books to get through, so I'm not sure if I have, you know, if, I, if I'm going to have too many reviews to edit or whatever, but we'll see how things go. Anyway, if you enjoyed this kind of book and enjoyed this kind of review, consider subscribing for the review. I don't review this type of book, but if you'd like to see my channel, I do review a lot of fantasy stuff, so maybe you'd be interested in that. But if not, that's that's cool. Thanks for watching this video, and if you just enjoyed it for the sake of enjoying the video, go ahead and leave me a like. Let me know what you liked of the video. Let me know what you liked of the book. Give me your thoughts on the book. I'd love to discuss. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.